I must say that was a that was a subject I gave a lot of thought to when I was ten, <laughs> more than I gave to school and some other things. Uh, you know, you have to probably a little young to deliver papers. That was always my favorite, uh, and I got about half half the capital I started with by by delivering papers. And I always liked it because I could sort of do it by myself. I don't know the situation in the town in which you live, but like, like I say, 10 is probably a little young, but but 12 or 13 would not be. And almost any, there can be a lot of little bit, I tried to, I must have tried 20 different businesses uh, by the time I got out of high school. The best one was a pinball machine business, but I'm not sure I wanna recommend that, that you get into that. Uh, when I did it, it was a much purer business where you put a nickel in and that was about it. But uh, it is interesting. I read a study a long time ago. I wish I'd get my hands on it because I've quoted it a lot, but I've never quoted it as authoritatively as I would be able to if I could actually find the damn thing that I read 30 years ago. But it correlated business success with certain variables. And, you know, they tried grades in school and they tried what your parents did and they tried whether you went to business school, all those kind of things. And they found it correlated best with the age at which you entered, got started your first business, got into business. That the younger you were when you did your first piece of business the, seemed to correlate best with later business success. And to some extent that's sort of natural. It's probably true that that when you see it in athletics, you see it in music and that sort of thing. Um, so whatever you can figure out that other people will pay you to do that they don't want to do themselves or that they like done for them, uh, I advise you to look around the neighborhood and talk to your parents, talk to your friends, see what other people have done that have been 10 or 11 or 12 years old that's worked for them and, and uh, copy it. But I would tell that little girl that if you make yourself a very reliable person and stay reliable all your life, faithfully doing whatever you engage to do, it would be very hard for you to fail at anything you want.